Welcome friends. What we are about to look at is a comparison of a facial motion capture app and a basically a automated lip sync app. The first is Daz Studio using the face motion plugin, which is a third party plugin, which also utilizes the a face cap app on the iPhone X in order to capture facial motion performance. The other is the latest version of iClone version 7.9 which uses uh, a feature called AccuLips which takes audio files and um, basically creates the facial motion from that audio file. So I'll go ahead and play those two Clips. Um, it's the same character as a Daz Eight, a, I mean, a Daz Genesis Eight male character saying the same line, um, but they're in two different programs. Nor was I, but one day an Autobot shall rise from our ranks and use the power of the Matrix to light our darkest hour. Until that day, until all are one. Nor was I, but one day an Autobot shall rise from our ranks and use the power of the Matrix to light our darkest hour. Until that day, until all R1. So for the Daz 3D version, um, I, what I did was I captured my facial motion um, performance with an iPhone X using the uh, FaceCap app. Um, I have a tutorial about that if you're interested in that. And then using the face motion plugin for Daz Studio, I was able to pull that data in and apply it to my Genesis 8 male character. For the iClone version, I had to export my Daz Studio Genesis 8 male character and import it into Character Creator 3.4 and basically that transforms it into a, a Character Creator character so some people have mixed feelings about that, but it's no longer just a dad Genesis character is a character creator character. Oh, wow. Tongue twister character creator character. And then I'm um, export that into iClone seven. Then I use the AccuLips plugin, which is basically um, you, you do it the same way you did motion uh, of lip sync before you would click on the character and you go to the motions tab or modify tab and you go down to create script and now there'll be a new feature if the character is compatible you'll see this lit up and you click on AccuLips and you would you can do this many different ways you can record live you can have text-to-speech I guess it'll give an automated voice or what I did was I imported a an audio file and that generates this wave file or this wave motions and what you do is you when you generate text it will actually convert the audio file to text which you can edit and make sure it's saying what you what it's supposed to say you can correct it and analyze it again and then you can apply it to your character We're basically creating the visings based off the way well, here's an audio file. You can see my the text right here. I'm just giving an overview. Just if you want, let me know if you want a, a more in depth tutorial. I can point you towards one. Um, but this is mostly correct. So I go down the timeline and I see along with the waves where each word is is 
at. So I know this one right here is supposed to be Autobot. So I can change that. I'm actually going to make it two words so that it recognizes it and doesn't complain. And I could say, hey, just align that part. Oh, well, align the section or align everything and it will redo that. Then I'll apply it to my character and so forth and so on. So for iClone, all you well, not all you need, you would need of course Dash Studio and all the assets you need for your character. You need character creator 3.4. I believe you need a Genesis to iClone plugin for that comes from with character creator and iClone. You need iClone 2.79. And then um, the good thing about this workflow is that you can, can just do maybe the, look, the lip sync because you can tell in that version that there wasn't much body movement. There was eye blinking and there was mouth movement. But you could actually mask off different parts of the face um, to, let's say, use the Unreal Live Link. You can There's a plugin for that as well. You can animate the rest of the head or the, uh, the face using that or use other means to animate the rest of the body. I'm just going to screw up here in the timeline right quick. And for, for example, just you see there's not much going on with the face, but uh, then the mouth moving. But if I was to say do motion puppet and let's see, let's do an idle and natural chord space rise from our ranks and use the and now i'm recording actually to him kind of having more natural movement our darkest hour along with what he's saying so that's what you need for that setup for dash studio i mentioned before you need an iphone x or 10 through 12 or an ipad pro um, third generation need the face cap plug-in which is third party it was available in an Apple store and face motion which you have to go to dasney.com and get that from the vendor because it's a third party plugin for Daz Studio anyways I thought this would be an interesting comparison as far as doing facial motion capture and or lip syncing um, if you're interested in seeing more about the AccuLips uh, let me know and I can point you to someone who has a pretty good tutorial or I might do something on that subject myself. Um, thanks. Have a blessed day.